Alright, so I'm in the Make the Cut software version 4.0, and in this tutorial we're going to use some of the node editing tools that are included in 4.0 in order to separate these three bulbs into three individual like piecings. As you can see, like right now, it is one set, and there's no way that I can separate it because uh, right here there's an open space, right here there's an open space, right here there's an open space. So we're going to use the slice tool and the eraser tool to uh, to manipulate this so that we can go ahead and get three separate files from this. Alright, so the first tool that you'll need is the slice tool. Now if you don't have these tools over here, you can go ahead and click this left hand corner and that is the show and hide for those node editing tools. So the first tool is the slice tool like I said and we're going to go ahead and try to you know, surgically remove this ribbon from that bulb and all you have to do is click and hold down so I'm just going to click there, I'm going to hold down and I'm going to go ahead and splice this ribbon and we can go ahead and move this file over to see how it took and it took pretty well alright so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here I'm going to go ahead and push the 5 button to zoom in and then I'm going to hit the 3 button to center on to this object now make the cut it shows you that you have an open path because it is no longer filled in right here and what we need to do is close those gaps we're going to be closing those gaps by using more tools over here which is the uh, bezier curve and we're going to go ahead and click that now when you click that you're going to notice that these they have these green dots here that sort of, that sort of shows you that you have an open path and you can connect those dots using the bezier pen tool so I'm going to go ahead and move my cursor over one of the green dots and as you can see it turns red. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and click and then I'm going to go ahead and drag that line over here to that other dot. Now as I hover over that dot, I'm going to go ahead and click and hold so that I can bezier curve this to make it look like a ribbon. And then I'm just going to go ahead and release and then I'm going to right click. And that go that went ahead and closed that gap. Now we're going to do the same thing to the other ribbon, you know, to the outside of that ribbon. And I'm going to go ahead and click, and then I'm going to go to the other dot, and I'm going to click and drag. And then you just want to click and drag to make it look, you know, like a ribbon. So there's that, and I'm going to go ahead and finish it. Now as you can see that it now colored in, uh, colored in that. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom out, and uh, we'll see see what it looks like. As you can see that looks pretty good you know and you can go ahead and move on to the next one now um, on this one we're going to need to close the gap here and we're going to use some eraser tool as well so you can go ahead and click the eraser tool and for the eraser tool it's just click and drag and if that you see how big that brush was you can go ahead and change that up here if it is uh, if it's too big too small that kind of stuff. And I'm just going to do the same thing over here because we can go ahead and close those gaps like we did before just by using that Bezier uh, pen tool. You know, just like before, click on the dot, click and drag, and release, and then right click. Same thing with this one. Click, click, click and drag, and release and right click. And you can, we'll go ahead and take a look and see how that went. You know, zoom out here. And it looks pretty good. So that just helps you to see how uh, these tools can affect you um, when you're trying to separate these pieces. This is all done in Make the Cut software, so you don't have to go to Inkscape. You don't have to go to Adobe Illustrator. You know, it's all built right into Make the Cut 4.0. So I'm Rob with ScrappyDoo.com, and I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial.